Hello and welcome to another blog by me, Lawrence Grant from My Photos Forever. Yes, it's been a while since I've been online and there's been so much going on recently since the uh, since the lockdown it's been pretty busy uh, with lots of events and weddings and has quite a lot of commercial work and things like that so it has been very very busy and I am now starting to get through it all and hopefully it'll be a little bit easier um, until the uh, uh, the onslaught for the season that will start already. Um, now today I wanted to talk to you uh, about the uh, uh, the uh, the handle on the on, on the um, the handle on the uh, the Canon uh, C70. Now, you, obviously, you know many of you know that it comes with this particular handle, um, and you can see it there. And it's uh, it's a pretty good handle. It uses the uh, the cold shoe on the top of the uh, top of the camera, uh, and it uses the the screw thread that's built into it to go through that nut. So that is its main holding point and it can be a little bit of stress on there. Um, so when that would fit in here, uh, I'll just just take this off a sec to show you when it fits in there, it can put a lot of stress on the on the camera. The the other thing I found initially, although I was quite happy with it, um it, it I had the articulated arm that I've got here and I had it onto the uh, the cold shoe here and what that was doing that again that was putting some more stress on this cold shoe because I was using the you know the cold shoe adapter uh, uh, coming off here and, and and it was moving basically it was it was moving and and the balance wasn't right it was it was it was weighing over <coughs> and um, it, 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 does, it just doesn't seem right. It just doesn't seem right. But I, you know, I put up with it, and uh, that's how it was. And the, also, I was using a, uh, the Rode uh, NT4 uh, Plus, and that was on here. And the problem I was finding there is that I couldn't. The cable wasn't long enough, so I had to use a small extension cable to get that up there. So I was just finding that it was. Um, not 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 ideal and i didn't really want to start spending serious money on the cages because they they come out and they were really really crazy prices at the time but um just just looking at the notes i've got here i've, I've then decided um we're looking at a lot of people's uh, comments and reviews that the the nits cage was going to be the, the one for me so i bought this um it wasn't ridiculously expensive i think it was about 90 pound and as you can see the i put the the canon uh strap back onto it it's designed for that um the, the model number is a tc02a and this cage now as you can just see a close-up of it is fitting pretty snugly round there and it fits on the top round there and it exposes all the controls for you and then coming around here the other side of it it has a an ATO rail that you can put a handle on or you can put lots and lots of things you can thread thread through there um, there's uh, lots of quarter twenties on there and one of the main things it allowed me to do was to put the the handle the same uh, manufacturer's handle on a NATO rail if you can just see there there's a NATO rail there and then there's a quick release handle here which I'll show you in a second and that that just slots onto there and then what it's allowed me to do is, with this round here it's allowed me to put my e-image articulated arm with a little short stem there and screw it tightly and I mean tightly into there and uh, you can see it from the front as well it's tightly into the tight on there and now that doesn't move whereas before this was on here and there was movement and it was too high if, if anything and it was it was causing the balance to be 
you know, not, not particularly well balanced at all. This, if you hold it underneath, seems to be uh, a better balanced. It's also got, um, it comes with a, um, a cold shoe, so if you just wanted to put, say, a basic microphone on there, you could you could slot that in and, and use the uh, the 3.5 type microphone. But it's principally designed for the um, uh, the road uh, pow powered microphone. So uh, here also I bought the uh, uh, the I can't remember what it's called now. It's the uh, the Ryko. That's it. The the Ryko um, uh, microphone. Uh, ad adapter which allows me to put the shotgun on there and it's got a couple of things here where you can you can adjust its position so you can posi position it with this screw thread here or you can position it onto the cold shoe here and you can swivel it onto so one of the again one of the th nice things about the uh, the knits uh, cage um, it's, it, I mean, it's light. It's it's well made. It's you know it's well painted and everything. It's there. It's got a little cold shoe there, and you can attach that tightly on there, and then you can then put your microphone in various different positions. You can slide it forward if you want, or slide it back. And now, this uh, the full uh, XLR will now go into the microphone, and. It will go straight into the mini, the mini XLR of the Canon camera. So there's no adapters, no extra extension leads required there. So that's made it tighter. If anything, it's you know it's brought it down to a different level, slightly level. And I was finding it it was a bit too tall, and a bit too. This was higher, as I say. This was up here, so the microphone was higher up there, and the handle, although it wasn't that much higher it seemed to, to to cause a problem with the balance of the of the uh, the monitor that i'd like to use the monitor because you know personally i think although although i haven't had issues with this monitor uh i, I do find that, that you know it's a little bit small i mean i can see it i can see it fine but it, it is a bit small to to start seeing so i do like to use the the ninja 5 monitor to uh to do all the assisting tools maybe not to use the uh, the drive on this particular job, but the, or, or use a Shinobi, a little lighter weight monitor. But I'd like to see the uh, the monitor assisting tools personally on here. And the the other thing is, it's sitting on the cage, as you can see by this this being nice and tight. This articulated arm is letting me put the monitor on here, which is then sitting on there, so I can actually hold the monitor. Um, and use it as a as a point of uh, of of, of, uh, of uh, clamping it clamping it well not clamp uh, uh, holding it in position so I've got I've got that side I've got a, as as a, as a one one point of contact and obviously I've got the handle which is another point of contact and now I've got this which I can sort of grip at the side and hold it you know it's aluminium case and do it like that or I could buy <coughs> excuse me I could buy um, a handle that goes on there and maybe that would be a, you know that would also be I haven't yet I haven't seen anyone who's actually done that and I don't know why because it would be most sensible to have some sort of handle similar to the top handle here on the side and then you hold it and then you run and gun and shoot shoot like that I, I don't know why no one's done it maybe they just prefer to keep the hand under the lens and, and, and control the focus or control the uh, the, the focal length or what, whatever that that may be there up to them. But this this has got the hood on the Ninja, and the way I've got it sitting here on the clamp, I can just unscrew that and drop it off. There's two um, there's two ways you can I can put it either way. I choose to put it that way at the moment. And then the handle is showing you the quick release side of it and then just slide it off the NATO rail. So that's another thing I was finding that this, when it was screwed onto here, I was having to keep it in the case and every time I put it in the case, I was having to unscrew the handle and put it away. And then that was another, okay, we're not talking a long time here, but you still gotta go, you know, undo that, take it off, 
whatever. Whereas with your NATO, you're on, you know, you're uh, and you're clipped. Right. We're talking, <coughs> we're talking a few seconds, but you know, it does it does assist you, and then that will go back onto there. So you can you can, don't have to have the Ninja Five monitor on there. So, but if you want to have it on there, I've got it on this post system that just just tightens it onto there, and then we can put the the hood onto the it's actually the other way around because if you put the ninja on the right way around uh, if you put these on the right way around the other way around you can't then put the uh, the the cage frame that comes with this this frame you can't put that on because these get in the way so I've had to turn it around and put it put it that way around so that that's the uh, the sun hood uh, adapter that allows me to put the sun hood on there so it can come off, fold away and we all know how expensive those are okay so there you have a small small look more compact rig and this on the front we've got a map box here this is a tilter mini um, and I've got also a couple of cold shoes that I've mounted just tilt it over there couple of coal shoe mounts onto the tilter frame so if I wanted to put something else I mean there there again you could have another another channel microphone and this is just a, a basic microphone but you can just slot that into there or you can put it back onto the the coal shoe that comes with the with the handle and not use the and not use the shotgun if you wanted and just plug that in and you could run and gun like that but obviously it's better to have the the road video microphone so um all in all we've now got a little compact system as i say holding it there and you can you can get it all all neatly done so although i was against getting the cage originally um i think it's helped the design of this cage and waiting for the cage the design of it has uh, definitely improved how I put things on, how I put devices onto the uh, the rig, and, and, and how I'm using it. So anyway, I hope that um, has helped a few of you, and uh, if you want to copy the idea, um, Knits, Knits Cage and the Handle. <coughs> There's a few different ones. This is the, uh, the NATO Quick Release one, and then uh, you've got your Rode Video uh, NT4 Plus and the Ryko uh, Universal uh, microphone mount uh, which is on there so anyway that that's that's it for now and uh, I'll, I'll catch you next time and I hope this has been useful but uh, you know like and subscribe if you can and uh, I'll see you on the next one bye for now